Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today's video I will be showing you how I'm creating a few different wall decor pieces for my son's room. I've decided to do a big gallery wall in his room right over his desk and I'm going to be creating a few DIY wall decor pieces to go on that gallery wall and the theme I'm going with is a oddities and curiosities type theme but I've printed off a few different images off the internet and a few other little things that I'll be doing a, a couple of DIYs to as well so I'll set the camera up and we'll get started with the first few or well, the first piece of wall decor we're going to do is I'm going to mount these little bug insects onto these wooden boards but what we're going to do first we're just going to paint the boards black and then we're going to paint those gold. So I've just got some regular black acrylic paint. pieces of wall decor I've got here a old silver coaster and we're going to cut this out and paste it onto here I have just a Kaiser wood coaster again and we're going to cut this image out and paste it onto here and I have this is just the lid off a box and I'm going to paint that up and stick that one in there to display and then we have this little silver tray that I'm also going to paint and then this image is going to be transferred into what I'm gonna do is use some of this foam board just to create a bit of depth on the pictures so I'm just gonna stick some of the images that I've got straight onto the foam board So 
these ones now are the ones that I've attached to the pictures that I've attached to the foam boards. So we've got this one here, which is like a science picture again, showing different parts of the brain. And again, that's just on the foam board. And I've just sort of gone around the edge to make it a bit more aged and antique looking, I guess. We've got another one here that's just, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's just like a picture of a ship. I thought I really liked that picture. And again, that's just on the foam board and I've just gone around the edges in black. And then these two here, one is of a camera and the other one's of a microscope. And they're on the bit of a thicker foam board. And they're great because they're very light to put on the wall as well. And then this one here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not yet. Um, I have a feeling it probably needs to be a bit bigger, but we'll see how we go. So those are the foam wall decor, all finished and ready to go. Okay, so a couple more little shadow boxes and curiosity boxes I'm going to prepare for my son's room uh, this selection. So we'll get started with these. little boxes have dried now so all I'm actually going to do now is just stick on some of the items on these boxes and I'm just using some KS Bond glue which is like a super glue the finished a couple of the finished shadow boxes and different wall decor so I've painted this black and just gone around the sides in silver and stuck that little so it's actually a letter opener and then this one here got a couple of little shotgun bullets in there with um, that's just some like Chinese coins and I just painted that little shadow box black then we've got one here with a butterfly on, got the little skeleton hand, have the little bird skull with a feather, got this little box which I covered the same as the other one and inside that we've just, I just put some like little beads and a leaf in that one and then that one's just like an old necklace with a metal word that says expect miracles on that. So I've glued those in there so they don't go anywhere. We've got a tooth here. I'm pretty sure it's off a wild boar or a wild pig. Um, it's a tooth that he's found. We've just got a picture of a hand with all the names of the bones and that sort of thing. And then this one here, I've just got a little glass bottle with some small shells in it and then another larger shell there. So they're all finished now, ready to go on his gallery wall. These are the other couple of things I made. That was the lid of the other box that I had covered and put the little steampunk cat inside. This one is the um, silver tray that I just painted white first and then I just went with a bit of grey and just rubbed very lightly over the pattern just to bring out the depth of the pattern and then I've just stuck on a, another steampunk cat on top of that and just went over it with some uh, PVA glue again and then this one I actually found as is at an op shop for 50 cents I, I don't know what it was about it like it's it's not pretty but there was something about it that I really liked so I thought I'd use that on my son's gallery wall as well. And then that's the coaster. I painted it in sort of like a purpley color underneath and then just went over it with a bit of gold and then put the spider and brushed a little bit of the paint across that as well. And then this I already had in my office, but I thought I'd give that 
to my son to put on his wall because I think it sort of matches in his thing. And then these are all the framed prints. Now all the prints I just printed straight off eBay. Now this frame here, it was originally just a plain color like this. I just rubbed my finger over it with some brown and black paint just to give it a little bit more depth and you know, age it a little bit, I guess. So then all the other Im images that I printed off the internet, I've just put in little frames that we already had. So that's those two. We've got the two smaller ones here. We got the steampunk flying ship. And then the um, big picture of the skulls. So they're all the framed pictures that are going to go on his gallery wall. The other little thing I made was this little plaque here. He had um, a couple of police figures that he used to play with when he was little, but I just painted it grey. And I've, I've just velcroed these on, just in case he ever wants to take them off and play with them, or, you know, if he wants to give them to his son when he's older. So I haven't permanently stuck them on, they're just put on with some velcro so hopefully they'll stay on and we're going to put that on his gallery wall as well. The other thing I have here is just um, one of these cardboard letter J's that you can pick up from like any of the craft stores and I've just painted it grey and we're just going to stick on some of these studs now. gallery wall now all up I um, I'm really really happy with the way it's turned out and I've still got quite a bit of space for other little wall decor projects that I might do in the future see I've got like a little space there I can fill in some space up here bit up the top there so yeah this is it so far I'll go I'll stand back a little bit so you can sort of see the whole wall but yeah, I think it's really made that whole wall come alive. I'm pretty happy actually. So yeah, and I mean, most of that was all just DIY and cost very little. It was all stuff we already had lying around the house and you know, things that Jamie had collected over the time. So yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And if uh, gallery wall is something that you've been thinking about, I hope it's given you some ideas of what you can do with next to nothing. I love using images from the internet and printing them off myself. That's a really big money saver I found. of the frames and things like that just gives gives the wall a bit of a 3d look and adds a little bit of extra interest so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel I still have a few more things up my sleeve for my son's room and then shortly after that I'll be starting on my daughter's room and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching